the name of my talk is The Rise of the Different, Why the Global Order Doesn't Work and What We Can Do About It. The global order doesn't work. I think that's obvious. We, we live in what I call a G0 world, not a G7, not a G20. You look around the world today, look at Europe, and it's very clear that while the United States is prepared to send Secretary Geithner over and over to dispense advice, he's not writing any checks. And when French President Sarkozy went to China and said, how about some support, uh, the response from the Chinese was not no, um, but hell no. Uh, if the Europeans are going to get through this crisis, as I believe they ultimately will, they will get through it themselves. Afghanistan. The United States is leaving Afghanistan. Around 2014, uh, the country will fall apart. Uh, and when I spoke to some Chinese officials recently and I asked them, you know, the, the Brits have done Afghanistan, the Soviets, the Americans, isn't it your turn? Uh, the response was, no, uh, we don't want to get involved. Uh, look at Syria. It's been over 18 months. We have over 30,000 dead. And uh, the likelihood of any resolution from anyone uh, is... Uh, uh, is, is really not in front of us. If Putin really wanted to make Obama's day, he could say, you know, I've had a change of heart. We have real problems uh, on the ground in Syria. I see the humanitarian devastation. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to change my mind. I will support anything you want to do in the Security Council. So what would you like to do? And then Obama would say, well, I wanted to blame you. But it's very clear that we're not going to see resolution of Syria either. And if you look at global institutions, the Doha round on trade is dead. Uh, climate, we've had now Copenhagen and Durban, right, and Rio plus 20. How, how many more failed global summits on climate do we need to have before we understand that we stop having global summits on climate? I was at Columbia University uh, with some of my students the other day, and I asked them this question, and one of my students gamely raised his hands, and he said, seven, which I thought was a pretty good answer. I mean, you know, two or three is probably not enough, but by the time you get to 10, it gets a little silly. Seven seems like enough failed additional global climate summits before we should probably stop. So, look, we are in this environment. It's very clear, and it's very different world order from the one we had over the past decades, the old world order was led by the United States. Uh, when we came out of World War II, we had Bretton Woods on currency, we had the World Bank, we had the IMF, um, we had the United Nations. They sound global. The World Bank sounds global. The World Series sounds global, right? <laughs> there is a Canadian team. It's not global. And, and this is the point, is that all of these institutions were created by the United States with American allies, American values, American priorities, American capital, and that was the order. You could call it a G7 or a G20, but in reality it was a G1+. Plus. That order is gone. What replaces it? Why have we lost it? 